Hello everybody, oh my hair, what happened? Hello everybody, coming to you today from... Um, resume, let's see if he wants to resume. Uh, hopefully he wants to resume. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's not gonna be... I hope this is not gonna be the, the, the norm, but the exception here. And I forgot, oh my god, what's wrong with me today? I forgot to put the clock here. And, uh, and you know, I usually put the date. To what day is today? Today is the 27th, uh, August 27th, 2021. You know, August is basically gone. <laughs> so, um, yeah, apparently I'm back. It's going to be buffering on and off, and I apologize for that. It's just uh, the way it is. Um, Hello, Nian Pony. Hello, my Gypsy Adventure. Lucky Duck Productions. Welcome and thank you for moderating. Dylan, Dylan Reynolds in the house. Natalie Driscoll, all the way from the other side of the world. And uh, Mary Kaminsky, hi from Minnesota. Okay, who is into my Robert at 10,000 mile Ethernet cord to Coral Gables? <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, I have faith in Elon. In Elon with Rust and Elon, you know, is doing that Starlink that went out. They had an outage a couple of days ago, but hopefully. <laughs> Hello, Bill Davis from Georgia. Hey, Robert, you hope you have a cold IPA, James. I do, as a matter of fact. RV DJ it says the bar is officially open. And Aaron Schmilovitz. Uh, Robert, where are you? Well, you're not going to believe this. We're at Pelicamp. <laughs> Hence the slow internet. We are in the middle of nowhere. We have, we have a big thunderstorm coming down right now. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's what it looks like out there. That's all my firewood there. That's my, my RV pedestal and uh, that I built myself. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of wet out there. Uh, but... Uh, Hello, Andrew and Monica, and uh, Jim in DC. Hi, Robert. The Black Pelican is home now. It sure is. I have to figure out a way to to glue concrete to wood because the the, the other pelican it, it was coming unglued from the from the post. So as soon as I figure that out, uh, both pelicans will be up there. For right now, uh, the Black Pelican is in the shed, <laughs> but the audio keeps cutting on my end. Hmm, audio keeps squatting on my hand. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. The internet, it's it's worse than when I left. I don't know what uh, what the deal is. If it keeps going like that, I'm going to give you know give him a call at some point. Retired, alive, all his style, back in South Carolina. And uh, Casita RV Live. Thank you for that super chat. <laughs> Here's my contribution to the Ethernet cable. Thank you, brother. And uh, I really, I really hope there's a way to improve the internet out here soon. But uh, but um, uh, the next, the next Friday we're gonna be well. Next Friday I might be here again. I don't know. But if I'm in Miami, you know, it's gonna be in 4K. You know, 3D. And so in Miami we have like a. a a question, will there be a Minitini Lounge? There's a big chance, there's a good chance there will be one, but I'm not sure yet. A liquid Nail TYB will work. Actually, Liquid Nail worked temporarily. I don't know what, what's TYB. I have to write that down. A, but uh, I had it with Liquid Nail and it, and, it's, and it just came undone. I mean, the Liquid Nail is still... It's, um, Stuck to the wood, but not to the concrete. I don't know. Gene Aragon. Hi, Robert. Just got back from Orlando yesterday. Florida is hot and humid. Yeah, you don't have to tell me. You know, you today I did some mowing out, outdoors because I had some some strange plants growing here in the... Uh, some plants that only grew... grew uh, that are only growing on top of the leach field. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they, they, have, they have seeds in the leach field. I don't know. Um, the, I have that app that recognizes plants. I don't know if that app has like a like a history. Does it have a history? Because I would like I would love to to show you my plants. No English. Oh, okay, okay. Here we go. History. 
No, that's kill reminders. Okay, I guess it doesn't remember the the plants that I've uh, recognized, but it was some kind of berry. It was weird. Um, Brenda Martin, classical to jazz. Just watched your trip to Huntsville. Loved it. That's my hometown, and I haven't been there in years. Thanks for the visit. Huntsville is a cool town. Huntsville is a cool town, and I've been there two or three times already. And I did the, the Space Center and... Uh, Hey, Jim, Jim, a quick high thinking. The rain is not going to stick around here. Uh, we could use it. Uh, thank you. Uh, Jackie Trujillo, Pelican Cafe. Yes, Pelican Cafe. And, uh, and this monitor only acts up when I'm on the live stream. It's incredible. Hey, Tab Channel. Uh, hello there, just finished editing my Miami new video for this Sunday. Gonna go with the premiere right after yours. What are we drinking here? B Biscayne Bay, Miami Pale Ale here. Okay, this one, and I actually, I had forgotten. I had this beer in the fridge. It was all the way in the back. I have some, I have a, I have enough fridge there, I mean, enough beer there in the fridge for like a week, for like a month. And this is, um, it's a, actually, it's a beautiful bottle. I bought it in Iowa, somewhere in Iowa. I think I bought it in Dubuque or someplace like that. And, uh, as you can see, you know, it has the, the Iowa Capitol building and uh, all kinds of, you know, Iowa landmark. Or John Deere, uh, you know, I love John Deere uh, tractors. And uh, we're going to crack it open. It's an Iowa IPA from Fire Trucker Brewery in Ankeny, Iowa. Cheers, everybody. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Mm, yeah. That's exactly what I needed to get the, the you know, the, the, the neurons in my brain, you know, firing up. Dookie Chips. Hey, Dookie Chips. Uh, the Pelican flag made it to Pelican. What an honor. Glad you, Ilya, made it safely. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, Dookie Chips, uh, he built this. This is beautiful. It's uh, an American flag and... Uh, that's a, actually, it's the Pelican flag, the Pelican flag it has the Pelican there, and then it says "Traveling Robert" down here. And um, I'm gonna figure out a way to display it permanently somewhere. But thank you, thank you so much for that. That was that was a, that was a great gift, man. And um, Steph Helt, thank you for the super chat. Come back to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we learned so much about where I live from your videos. And the Pacific Northwest is definitely in the plans for some time in the middle of next year. I don't want to say the dead of summer because we might, we might, if, if we figure out a way to, to take Minitini 3 into Alaska, we might do Alaska. But otherwise, um, um, otherwise we're going to... Um, we can, we can do the Pacific Northwest, and if Europe like really opens up, like not halfway open or you know with restrictions like it is right now, if Europe fully opens up, we might do Europe. You never know. You never know. Hey, Steve Lloyd, thank you for that super chat. Had we taken I ninety five instead of I seventy five, we would have passed by your place there, but we decided to to take I eighty one. Actually, that that's like my favorite alternate to come back to South Florida from the northeast. First of all, you, it's, it's not I-95, which we've done many times, and it can get complicated. The farther north it gets, it, it gets complicated. But then I-81 goes through Appalachia, through the mountains. It's a, it's a beautiful drive. So that's what we did, and we came down. We Actually, we visited the place where old Kia died. Uh, we didn't visit the place. We just passed by it. I took some video and said, this is the place where, where old Kia died. So... Um, <clears throat> no, Armando Correa, thank you for that super chat. My voice is not at 100% today. Happy Friday, Robert. How was the Finger Lakes? I'm still camping at the 1000 Islands, upstate New York. See you soon. Um, the Finger Lakes was great. I, uh, and at some point, I want to go back and, uh, and explore a little more. Maybe rent a boat. I don't know. But the highlight for me was that Watkins Glen uh, State Park with all the waterfalls. And uh, and when we go back north, we might go to the 1,000 Islands. We might. We might. Uh, I have some more super chats here. 
and then I'm gonna uh, go through uh, the, the the rest of the uh, uh, comments here. Brenda Martin, classical to jazz. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you. And Steve Wonker, thank you for that super chat. And the RV Monster super chat. Thank you. What happened? To your trip are you doing okay still going to Hershey yes I'm still going to Hershey we're gonna take a couple of weeks break in Miami recharge and I just you know it's, it's it's it was hot and humid up there and we did we decided to to save Vermont well the, the eastern oh that was a thunder right there the eastern part of New York Vermont and New Hampshire for the fall you know see the fall colors in their full splendor so we're gonna do Hershey. We're gonna do the M21 meetup, and then we're gonna do the um, the open house, which is an industry-only RV show in, in in Elkhart, where they make the RVs. And then from there, I'm gonna make a beeline, and we're going back to Watkins Glen, and you know, see the difference in the in the scenery from from summer to fall, and then from, from there continue with the trip as it, as it was planned originally, with less heat. It's been very hot, and um, Brandon Shackleford, thank you for the super chat. Uh, here's to your next IPA. Maybe a good old highlight, uh, but might as well be. You know, I'm, I'm going to Publix tomorrow, so <laughs> we're back in the land of Publix and Sefer Hills. Um, by the way, Missy Ann, thank you for becoming a chief Pelican head. Thank you. Welcome to the to the to the group uh, to the club. And uh, I was gonna say something else. Um, but Jacqueline Gardner, thank you for that super chat. Do you enjoy Western New York and the Finger Lakes? Glad you got to try the, the garbage plate. Yes, we did. We Actually, we had two of them. One at the original place there in, uh, in, uh, in Rochester. And then we had, Ely had one and I had a taste. Ely had one also at, uh, she liked it so much that she had a second one, at uh, Nichols Barbecue. Uh, by the way, thank you, thank you, Dookie Chips, for the recommendation there in Watkins Glen. So, yeah. Adventures with Rosie. Thank you for that super chat. Hi from New Zealand. New Zealand. Hello, New Zealand. And um, which, by the way, another another highlight was the, the Corning Museum of Glass. We went to the Corning Museum of Glass there in Corning, New York. And... Um, it wasn't exactly what I expected. I thought it was going to be um, um, a more like... I like the part about the technology and the lenses and the Fresnel lenses and the optics and all that. That was very cool. But other than that, um, uh, Raphael Munn, would you ever... Thank you for that super chat. Would you ever live in California? Like permanently, I don't know, man. Taxes, you, you, California pays a lot of taxes, but I love to visit. I would, I would visit California every single year if I can. Uh, Greg Clay, thank you for the super chat. Love your episodes and travels. Thank you so much. I have some Mich Michelle K. Hello there. I have some extra rain. You can have Ol Oliver from Michigan. And let me go back up. He's here. See a few. Uh, um, oh, that was to, to uh, Oliver De Vries. Uh, send some rain to California. We need it. Let me tell you, California, your your lakes are dry. It's like it's, I wish we, if if we could make a like a pipeline, but not for oil or gas. You know, a pipeline for water. I don't know. Crossing the Rockies might be a, an engineering challenge. When I, I we've done, uh, you know, over here it's like some houses, so some neighborhoods in this area. Ilya and I were were, were touring the area. Some neighborhoods, they feel like Venice. You know, it's like, I feel sorry for those people. Imagine I bought Pelicamp, and today I arrived here, and there was like two feet of water. Some properties are like that. The, the, some low-lying properties. This, this here, we're like in, in high ground. And uh, that was very lucky, because that was... Oh, we have a big bug in here. Oh, my gosh. Where did you get into? Where's that thing? That's a black fly. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm gonna use this thing. Can you imagine I killed it? Yes, I killed a, a bug live on live television.
Man, this thing is good. <laughs> Those black flies, they bite. Uh, those lately, but when we were here and and uh, and Casita RV Live can attest to that. Those things are vicious. Uh, Holla Shack, thank you for the super chat. Hello from Southwest Florida. <laughs> Michelle K. Robert needs a cat to get the bugs more fun that way. <laughs> hey, um. <laughs> nice catch. <laughs> I'm glad you like. Uh, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys. <laughs> Watch out for Peter now. Yeah, right. I know. I know. They're gonna. They, I'm gonna get demonetized. Demonetized. <laughs> oh, brother. By the way, that that zapper is really good. I, the, the, I don't know if you're here, but the, uh, someone gave it to me. At the meetup. How is their DC refrigerator working for you? That's a good question. Uh, one bobbish. It's working great, but I it, and and I haven't had a chance to really truly boondock and uh, and see the power consumption. But it consumes more power than than I was expecting. So basically, it, on a, even on a sunny day, it consumes more power than what I'm making from the sun. I don't know if the solar. I have to I have to troubleshoot because that's something that hasn't. That is, that, that's another reason why I want to go back to Florida uh, or come back to Florida in that sense and have a couple of days with the RV so I can troubleshoot certain things that are hard to to over, to troubleshoot when you are in a in a campground somewhere, you know, and you want to be you know touring the area instead of. Uh, troubleshooting stuff but yeah i have to do that and if you put it in eco mode at least in in the heat of the summer right now it doesn't cool enough like the the things in the in the streaming stopped by the way tiny brody brody thank you for the super chat uh, uh, robert you are a great inspiration for people looking to see this beautiful country what a small bit of advice you would give someone just starting out or just just do it at some. Sometimes it's you know you can there, there can be a little bit of apprehension, a fear you know fear of the unknown, but uh, but I would just go for it uh, and start you know nearby or you can start in an area where you really want to go. Like for example, rent an RV and go to Utah. You won't regret it. Uh, Tap channel uh, Europe. How well? What country are you targeting? I'm going to Poland next week. For the first time in 16 years, can you believe that? Next Friday, I'll be on your chat from my mom's uh, home office desk. Oh, that would be that would be awesome. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do um, Poland. I'm gonna start with the area that I'm more because I'm gonna rent an RV. You know, the area that I'm more familiar with, which is Spain. And the, the idea is to rent an RV in Spain, visit uh, Illy's family in southern Spain. They're living in Alicante, and then do like. A look through France. I might go as far east as Germany. I want to do like a month. We'll see. We'll see because uh, there are logistics involved, uh, especially with Ely and and work and all that. But uh, um, that's kind of the plan, you know. Maybe do Spain, France, Northern Italy. Maybe go into the into the Alps a little bit. I don't know. It all depends on, on travel restrictions at the time. You know, this 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 thing, sometimes it, it feels like it's never going to end. So, uh, My mom is here, everybody. Hi, everybody. Greetings from Miami. Have a wonderful weekend. Love, mom. Everybody say hello to my mom. mom, 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 mom. This is not working very well now, is it? Are we, are we still on? It seems like we are still on. So I'm going to keep talking here. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's the weirdest thing. Sometimes it just stops. I don't know if it's that cable that I ran from the post. And this is the thing. I'm run, I, I, I ran a, a cable from the post to Minitini 1. And then I'm using the Winegard antenna to connect from Minitini 3 to Minitini 1 to the... Maybe that that extra hop, it's uh, 
is messing around with the connection. But uh, I, I know it's uh, it's going back and forth. 508 of you watching. Could be the heat, could be the rain. Uh, hello, Roberto, Mom, Robert. What kind of windows are in Minitini 3? I don't know. This glass. <laughs> Um, th this one's this one is the ones that, that slide like like this. I don't know if you can see it. Um, some of them are like the guillotine style, like the one over there. But uh, they're regular windows. Uh, Christopher Olson, hello there. Thanks for tonight, all. I'm off as usual. Late here in Sweden. Take care and stay safe. And uh, that's kind of like. You see, the stream current bit rate is 1450 kilobits per second. It's lower than the recommended bit rate. Yeah, I know. We're lucky to get one and a half kilobits here in, in Pelican. It is what it is. Um, and I was going to say some. Oh, the, the other, my, my, my other choice to do the, the, the trip in Europe is I had such a great time last time in uh, with that trip in uh, that we did in spring in, in, in Finland and Norway and northern Sweden and uh, I'm thinking perhaps not the dead of summer in in Europe if I go maybe we'll do spring or early fall I don't know so it's not so hot I would love to do summer like in the west coast which where it very it's very a, a unusual for it to get hot yeah it's the revenge of the of the fly uh, Jackie and Jacqueline Gardner, uh, we are going to buy a small piece in Rochester. We miss our friends and family too much. We call we call this the gar garbage plate camp. <laughs> we will call it. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, and Red Jaguar One Hundred Travels uh, is here. In... Yeah, Jim. Thank you. Yes, it was uh, that. that the, the, maybe I froze when I was talking about that Vermilion uh, impromptu meet up there. Uh, but uh, that was a lot of fun. We've got Lesbia Candelaria from Florida. Uh, uh, since you are connected wirelessly, main doesn't connect to the five gigahertz band if it isn't if it is available. Well, the way I understand that the five gigahertz band will give you a more theoretical speed. But it, it, it's going to be harder. It doesn't go as far, or is it? And doesn't, it's hard for it to go through walls and stuff like that. So besides, the, the hardware that I have in Minitini 1 is like really like 19, late 1990s technology, I think. I think that's a, I don't know what it's. Uh, we, have, we, have, we still have DSL here, uh, which is, uh, it, you know, it, it comes through, through a twisted pair, you know, pots, uh, plain old telephone line system. Uh, hey CLT, if you're enjoying traveling, Robert, consider joining the Chief Pelican Heads and get perks. Uh, yeah, for example, the Chief Pelican Heads knew yesterday that I was here. Um, I already saw the, the Sunday's video. William Irizarry, Robert, I think he means you have framed or fla frameless windows. Oh, no, these are framed. These are framed. It's uh, it's not that fancy, you know, like the like they do on the, on the Class B's. And Dero Mueller, I'm from Florida. From Florida. Do you see, you see how I'm talking now? <laughs> uh, Jacqueline, when you bought your land, what were the things you were looking at to decide for a good place? Um, well, basically, I, I kind of followed the advice of the average campers. Uh, and the idea was a land where, you know, there weren't too many regulations and I could just park an RV if I wanted to. You know, in, in many counties and many jurisdictions, they tell you, you buy land, but you have to buy. You have to build this type of house, this many square feet, and um, over here they don't care. You can build a house. I have some people who are, the, the guy next door was living in a tent for 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 a while there, uh, while he was building the property. Daniel Ruiz, thank you so much for that super chat. Do you know if Minitini Two is still for sale? I have no idea. I have to speak to Adam about uh, something else. So if I do speak to Adam, I'm gonna ask him. Uh, I, I put a link in um, in Facebook. You you guys can if you want to find out called uh, that um, the RV place there in Elkhart, uh, Royal Royal RV. Danny Stone Outdoors. Uh, 
Danny and Stacia Stone headed. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Headed to Fort Pickens, Florida, October third through the eighth. Have you been there? Haven't been there yet. No. Dan Kellenberg, Glass, LOL, yeah. <laughs> January 1st is the day officially for me. Full-time job ends, remote work begins. Congratulations. And uh, who was it that said a Gary Bain Vaynerchuk? That once you start working remote, compared to working in an office, it's like flying first class in Emirates, you know, the one that you have the bed and all that, the bed and all that. Compared to flying in the last seat of the road next to the to the bathroom, that's what how he compares it. And uh, I don't know if it is that drastic of a diff. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're back. This is gonna keep happening, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm coping with it as good as I can. Uh, uh, Andrew. Um, big question: When you decided to make the leap to go full time on YouTube in seventeen. Were you close to your income at your regular job or were you already above it? No specific. I was at about a, at about a quarter of my income. You know, I, I, I bled uh, cash for about a year until I started breaking even again. Uh, but I had faith. And I, I had faith and I had the, the, the numbers, you know. I was kind of doubling my income every... 10 months or so at the time, you know, it's right now it's kind of, it has plateaued, it eventually plateaued, it did a plateau, but, uh, but yeah, I, uh, it was a, it was a leap of faith in a sense. Andrew Barley, thank you for the super chat, love the flag behind you, remember that you are welcome to Mooch Duck and have water and power, I'm in Southern Maryland, Maryland no, not far from I-95 and 301, safe travels. Uh, it's very possible that at some at some point in the in early fall. Did you get to Ember's restaurant? I didn't. We didn't. I wanted to go, but it just didn't work out. We went to Rochester, and uh, it was kind of out of the way. But it's it's still there. And when we go back now to the Finger Lakes area, it's very likely that we go to Ember's. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Boku C, what does land like when you bought cost, may I ask? Well, when I bought it, and this was exactly, almost exactly to the date a year ago, no, it was Halloween last year, more or less. Uh, they wanted they wanted 18, and I ended up, ended up paying 14.5. Right now, prices have almost doubled in this area. They're in the 20s. Some people even want like 29, 30,000 for a comparable property. Uh, but it is what it is. It's, it's a high demand. It's a, it's, a, it's a seller's market right now around here. But uh, and then you can expect another twenty grand in developing. You know, it depends on, on how much you want to do. At some at some time, I, I just uh, you know decided not to do everything that I wanted to do, and I just did the the basics that I wanted at this point. Uh, Do you think you should start all your videos with uh, includes paid promotion since Wanabego loaned you your last two trailers? Actually, some I, I'm sure I have forgotten to click that button a couple of times. So yes, that is part of my agreement with Wanabego. All, all the videos have uh, uh, have to have a paid promotion, and I do have to to disclose it at some point in the video. I usually do it at the end, right at the end of the credits, and sometimes I do it halfway through the video. But, uh, but yeah. I stepped out for a while, but I'm back. Hello, Maxine Oliver visits Atomic City, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, Secret City. I have to, I have to visit more of Tennessee. Oh, I just realized this is the first time for Minitini Three in Pelican. Yeah, yesterday it arrived here for the first time. Uh, Jimmy, this is Starling. Come on, Elon. Yeah, if anybody has uh, knows Elon, you know, tell them that I'm I'm broadcasting live here from the middle of nowhere, Florida. And I need internet. <laughs> Len Harding, thanks to my Miami Uber driver for recommending you. Oh, thank you, Uber driver. And thank you, thank you for, for coming here. 
and uh, for being here. And uh, oh man, look! And we were just talking about you today, Radu Stefarak from uh, from the Bay of Fundy. Uh, greetings, Robert from the Bay of Fundy. When you get up here, I'll take good care of you. Lots of great IPAs. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, Radu. And this is kind of penciled into the plan. Even if if, if I cannot solve the problem of, of taking the RV to Canada right now, I'm thinking of parking the, the RV somewhere in northern Maine, crossing the border, renting a car, and doing a little bit of touring in New Brunswick, like Bay of Fundy. That's penciled into the into the plan. It, it's not like uh, it's not part of the plan yet. But I'm I'm playing with the idea. If I can find a place to park the the RV in northern Maine and close to the border, I'm thinking you know just walk to the other side. Robert, are you at Pelican Camp now? Must have flown down the road south. We just did a, a two and a half days nonstop, pretty much. Um, it was a beautiful drive, but yeah, by the time I got here, I was like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? So, yeah. Uh, but um, I was also getting antsy, and this is something that happens to me. I don't know if it happens to other people, but sometimes if I've been in the same place for a long time or in the same general area, I get that, that itch, you know, I get that itch to to go somewhere else and uh, I just want I just needed a change of scenery at, at this point and uh, n nothing greater than than just uh, you know zipping down the road uh, and seeing the, the the vegetation change and all that Antrit hello Antrit from uh, the White Mountains of Arizona uh, how do you like having a slide it's kind of a love-hate relationship at this point I love having this extra room in here when you're when we're parked stay put And uh, and that's about all I love about it. <laughs> um, in this case, I don't have a slide topper, so whenever I park under a tree, you know, I have to get on the roof and sweep the slide before I bring it in, or if it's wet, you know, I, that kind of thing. And then when the slide is in, it's uh, you know, and it, it, it's it's very cramped in here. And then I also. I also kind of like the idea of the being cozy, the RV always feeling the same way. Like, I mean, in Mini Tini too, I could just stretch my arm and get perhaps my beer that was standing on the, next to the sink. And you have too much room. No, no. I like it. I, don't get me wrong I, I, wrong, I like it. But if I if I ever get that motorized, that B plus or B, I don't think I want to I slide. I think I want... Uh, uh, to be back. I mean, we, we, Ailey and I, we love having the sofa back there and being able to watch TV or actually sometimes we watch it on the iPhone because it's the one that has unlimited internet, but yeah. Alicia Smith, I love the stuff you have done with the property. It's such an inspiration. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, I, I, I'm, I, really, uh, I, I, I really like the way it's come out. It's incredible how, mo how much nature has grown. You know, it, it's, it's like uh, such... You remember on the, on the, in the video that the whole bate, the whole uh, middle of the property, the, the video that you watched, was sand. It was like a sand pit. All that is green right now. You know, all kinds of different strange plants. Uh, oh, Robert, that's a fabul fabulous idea. I could lend you our GMC motorhome for use. You have it riding in my GMC. I could be riding in a GMC. Let's talk about it, man. Yeah, if, if I decide to do it, I'll, I'll definitely let you know. And my mom is... Uh, thank you for... Uh, thank you, everybody, for greetings and big hug. Mom. Thank you, Mom. I'll see you tomorrow, Mom. If you go to Maine, you need to check out Moosehead Lake. It's such a beautiful place. I'll look it up. Denise, guys, thank you for that super chat. Hello from Bob and Denise in Lancaster, Ohio. Lancaster, Ohio. And Vivian Archibald, thank you for the super chat. Thank you. And Warren Nelson, thank you for that super chat. Cheers, cheers, you know. 
I'm gonna go back up here on the on the chat. You are going to need a no vacancy sign up at the Pelly Camp. Um, I have a big no trespassing sign on the outside, but yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Tab channel, congrats on 200,000 subs. When did you hit that? I saw 199k last time and forgot to check back. That was a um, last Friday. I did a quick live stream in the morning, and. Uh, and we did a quick countdown, so yeah. Oh, we have a troll? Well, we had a troll, I'm sure that by now. Yeah, oh, the Lord is King is uh, timed out. Thank you, uh, Lucky Dog and, uh, and CLT for taking care of that. You know, the, the chat for me goes so quickly that sometimes... Uh, uh, have you ever tried Harvest Hosts? We have. Just wondering. Yes, and I like. I love that new feature they have right now on the app, where you can make a reservation. Because before it was sometimes sometimes you would call, they wouldn't answer. They would call you back like a day later when you already made different plans. So, uh, yeah. So um, uh, I like it. I, I, I've used I've used it several times. Actually, on this trip we used it. That place where we stayed in Vermilion. And, of course, you haven't seen that video yet. Uh, that was a Harvest House. Very nice, very nice. Uh, 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 the owner, I spoke to the owner. And thanks, Jim, for arranging that. Uh, Stench. Hello, Robert. I'm such a big fan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Robert, do you need an official IPA for your Pelicamp? Uh, yeah, we, maybe we should make like a Pelican IPA, IPA or something like that. Uh, I was thinking Pelican Head IPA with a funky Pelican picture. Maybe something similar to, to that. That 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 actually that 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 Pelican has like a like a like a sarcastic smile. Like his he has had a very interesting expression on this on his face. So yeah. Uh, what do you think of a uh, thousand trails I've used it once during my first year because it came free a free year membership with Minitini one I used it a total of three times just yes, because if, if you if you plan to be in a certain area of the country and I mean you save a lot of money it's if you want to go from 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 um, thousand twelve to thousand twelve, but it's not my style. It's not my style. I like to be more serendipitous and last minute kind of thing. I'm even a member of like I'm, I'm an SKP's member, and I've only stayed at one of their campgrounds because you know sometimes I just at last minute and uh, and I usually end up at a KOA even though I don't like them as much anymore as much as I used to. But it's just so easy to go into the app. Hey, ask Remy, I'm late. Where are you, ask Remy? Where in the world is Remy? Joey and Colleen Lyle Grimm, thank you for that super chat. Hey, Robert, love your CDs. Thank you. Uh, would love to know why my favorite song is called Philly Cheese Take. Uh, it's a fun story. You remember in my Philadelphia video, uh, I, uh, this guy robbing a story. He showed up and he, he gave us a... Uh, a tour of the city, you know, we, we in, the, in the morning, that morning we did all the touristy stuff, we did Independence Hall, the Liberty Bell, you know, the the historic part, and then in the afternoon he took us to, to South Philly, to his neighborhood, to the, the Italian neighborhood, we went to have the Philly cheesesteak, and he, told, he took me to the house where they ki killed the, the big mafia guy, and he took took me to a, to a bakery, you know, the, the back room there, uh, you know, he, he knew the owner, and all that, that kind of thing. And that was a, a, a lot of fun. And he told me, well, so we were driving in his uh, GMC. Uh, you need to have the, the Philadelphia sound. Just look it up. Look it up. In the, and the Philadelphia sound uh, turned out to be this disco-ish uh, music, you know, like uh, uh, kind of disco-ish music. And I'm like, um, ah, maybe I can write something similar to that, something uh Kind of in the same style, and uh, and I did, and that was the the, the and I called it Philly cheesesteak because the, that was uh, the culinary highlight of uh, 
of, of the Philadelphia part of the trip. That's I really enjoyed that. Zach Lyson B. Thank you for that super chat. Can you send a shout out to my dad, Ron Lyson B? He was a huge fan and loved watching your videos. He passed away this morning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Zach. I'm sorry for your loss, but uh, shout out to, to Ron, wherever you are. And thank you. Ask Remy. Robert, uh, Traveling Robert, I gave you access to my location a while back. Hmm. Can we share? No, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Ilyasi Sabani, uh, hello, I spent a beautiful holiday in Morocco during four weeks. Tomorrow I'll be back in Belgium. Morocco, that's a place that I would like to visit. That's a place that I forgot to that, that I would like to visit. I forgot my drill back in Tennessee. I'm sorry. You know. You know what? I, I left something. Oh, I left my 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 block somewhere in, in upstate New York. You know that green block that I used to to yeah. Hi, Robert. Enjoy your videos. They they are always very entertaining. When you cling at Pelicam. Be careful with poison ivy. Safe travels. I have to look out for that. Uh, Robert, please shout out my son, Ewan Marks. M M Marks. He loves your videos so much. Uh, hello, Ewan Marks. Chipping in. Hello, traveling Robert. Your content is so good. Thank you. Thank you so much. TSOP, the sound of Philadelphia. That is correct. The sound of Philadelphia. Did I say something different? Yeah. Uh, song request free in my RV. Do you ever roll through Orlando? We, have, we haven't been in Orlando in a while, but I want to go back. I want to go back and. Uh Uh, Peter Brill, hello Robert, are you ready for the hurricane? You'll be close enough to get a lot of rain from it the next few days up until Wednesday probably. Yeah, it's going to be far enough from, from us that it's probably just going to be like a rain event. And as I've said before, and they, they hurricanes come very close to this area, but it's, uh, and we overdo at some point, we're going to get one. But uh, they're not as, as prevalent as they are perhaps in, in parts of, uh, of the panhandle. Like, so... Um, Rain, we get a lot of rain pretty much every day here in the summer. This is like... A, uh, Georgia and Becknell. Uh, happy Friday, Robert. I had a really good mojo pork Cuban sandwich. So good. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Yeah. The last Cuban sandwich I had, I think it was uh, in Iowa, believe it or not. Uh, Robert, visit Osable, Chasm, New York, in the Adirondacks on your way to Vermont. It's very close to Lake Champlain. Gorgeous. I think I have that on my on my map there on, on road trippers. It's gracefully, which is uh, really good. Someone was asking me what's the best burger I've had uh, on the road. You're not going to believe this one. The Oscar in Varkaus, Finland. <laughs> That's the best burger I've ever had. With our friends from Finland, uh, uh, Petri Vahakangas and his wife and his friend. Uh, Earl Woolett, thank you for that super chat. Happy Friday. Earl and Kathy up in Pelican Lake, Minnesota. Ever think of Minitini 4? I think this is going to be the last Minitini. The next one is probably going to be a camper van and I'm going to call it something else. But uh, I don't know yet. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I suggest you to rent camping car from Tangier 
from the north to pass by Fez, Rabat, Casablanca. Yeah, that's it. Morocco is definitely in the. It's in that part of the. After I visited like a couple of more comfort zone, Morocco would be a little bit out of my comfort zone, but not not much. Uh, so I'm thinking probably three, three to four years, uh, perhaps maybe maybe less. You know, I I want to I want to travel as much as possible. Uh, thank you, John Lepham, for that super chat. Thank you. Question: Are you going to Miami? Yes, I am. Not for long, but I'm going to Miami. Gonna have to make you a pan con bite when you get back to Miami, Robert. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> thank uh, Mazziotti Artworks. Thank you for the super chat. Hello from Flagler Beach. Lovely area, Flagler Beach. I really like Flagler Beach. Have you ever searched out any of those man versus food challenges during your travels? Not really. Robert, my son is now praying to a picture of you. Oh, wow. Thank you. La uh, Picadilla. Yeah, it's happening more and more. I freeze, I come back, I freeze, I come back. <sighs> Uh, am I back? I think I'm back. Uh, I'm Brain4100, new fan to the channel. Robert, my father father introduced me to you. Can you give him a shout out to Mr. Buffy, Buffy Poppy and the lady up in St. Louis. Hello, St. Louis, Missouri. And hello, Jamie and I watching. Say hello to my friend who stopped by Mr. Mark Brady. Hello, Mark Brady. It's Raveling Robert. Question, how do you like your e-bike? Oh, man. I just remembered. I left the e-bike outside in the rain. <laughs> I hope it makes it okay. I like it. I don't have any. It's my first e-bike, so I don't have anything to compare it with. But it's a lot of fun. When you, when you don't feel like, like pedaling, you just go like... It goes 20 miles an hour. It's good. Neon Pony. Hello, my Petaway Live. And uh, Chris Cogill. Kogel, thank you. Yes, you are. Who's Stench? What happened to Stench? I can't find it. Teddy Doris, hope you're, you and your wife are doing fantastic wherever you are. Yes, we're doing great. We are up here in the eastern panhandle of Florida. Did you have any damage at your property from the last storm? Uh, one tiny branch just fell on the driveway. That's it. No, we, did, we didn't have a... It was mostly a rain event here. We, we've had two storms come awfully close. Uh, but... Uh, uh, it's It's been... Uh, uh, Fred finds a super chat. Super chat. Thank you. Does Illy ever drive? Uh, she does. If she has to. But I do most of the driving. Uh, ah, you got a bike. Cool. We should ride it while in Florida. Yeah, I made a video about it. The, the, the company sent it to me. It's, it's electric bikes. And I like it. I like it. Uh, you know what I want to get now? A tandem e-bike. So Ely and I can ride together. I'm going to see if I, if, I, if, I, if I can get one or... Uh, we'll see. Traveling Robert I, from Tab Channel. I remember 100,000... Live chat when you got emotional. That was like a month before pandemic lockdown happened, probably February 2020. We both got drunk at this party. LOL. Yeah, that was a good party. And uh, mm -hmm, uh, yeah, it's, it seems like yesterday that, that from one, it, it took about uh, a year and a half from 100 to 200. And uh, it's going to take probably more than that from 200 to 300 and whatnot. Uh, because, you know, we're kind of plateauing right now, which I'm, I'm, I'm totally okay with. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, Robert, you look really tired. I hope you're getting rest. Maybe lay off the coffee or consider a decaf at night. I'm not that tired. I'm just, it's, it's, it's when you are traveling, you know, kind of, 
traveling and working on the road for over a month, month almost two months at this point. You know, that, that's why we're taking a vacation from our vacation, if you will. And we're going to stay in Miami for a couple of weeks, re recharge, and, uh, and go back out. I really enjoy your videos. When's your next trip to Key West? It's uh, November. We're going to be in November. Maybe not Key West, but we're going to be in the Keys. Uh, Andrew Barley, thank you for that super chat. Pelican Septic is way bigger than I thought. Looking good at Pelican. I have been in contact with Shannon about property in Taylor County. Yeah. Shout out to Shannon. And uh, he he's, uh, he's a cool guy. Uh, my realtor here. And uh, the Septic could have been smaller. But I, I asked for the one for four RVs, just in case, you know, better. The, the only thing that I regret is, is taking down as many trees as I had to. But um, we can always replant one here. I want to plant here, one in front of us. And, uh, and I want it to be legal. In case I ever want to have four rigs here full time, I can do it. So that's for like three rigs and a, and a, and a, and a tiny house. How far in advance do you plan your travels? Are you having issues booking campsites? The weekends are impossible or nearly impossible. But uh, it's, uh, during the week, it hasn't been bad. It's, it's been, it was bad like in, in, the, in the north. Especially in the dead of summer, it was, it, was, uh, it was a challenge. Sometimes you had to get the expensive KOA because it was the only place. And one night we stayed at, at this RV park on the Erie Canal. That is, was the only place that had something. So, um, it's been a challenge sometimes. I, I kind of planned, and that was kind of a little added to the stress of this trip because I planned it out a month ahead of time uh, almost. And sometimes it is, it is more to, to fly by the seat of your pants and just do it last minute. Hey, I'm Aranto Cabrera. Happy Friday, my friend. Robert, let me know when you return to your Pelican headquarters. Cheers. Uh, probably tomorrow, actually. Since Ili is with you, who cooks? Are you still the chef? Yeah, I'm, I'm still the chef. Actually, we've been going out to eat a lot. When we're together, uh, traveling together, I think we go out more just to, to you know, to experience the, the local cuisine, if you will. Goombas, thank you for that super chat. Thank you. Happy Friday, Robert and Ileana. Cheers to you and the Pelican Hands. Oh, cheers to you and thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, 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 Lisa, Lisa, hey, Lisa, Lisa, we, we, we almost passed by your property today. We were on, on Spring Warrior there. Uh, I wanted to, so I wanted to show Willie the fish camp and all that. So uh, I hope you, you didn't get too much uh, uh, flooding there. Uh, that, that zone, in that zone is when I saw the most floating. Um, I found the perfect cactus for Pelicamp. We'll bring it up soon. Thank you. And uh, I'm sorry to say, I don't know if Max McLear is here. But I have a little bit of bad news. I don't know. Maybe cacti are not meant for this climate because Max's cactus uh, died. It's maybe it's me. Maybe I'm really bad at agriculture. But um, it didn't. It didn't make it. Uh, KCM, your property looks big. How many acres does Pelly Camp have? It's one acre. It's like 1.06 acres, something like that. It's very close to one acre exactly. Hey, Mark Drenning, it's been a while. What was the name of the wine club you mentioned in one of your videos? Wink, W-I-N-C. And uh, which video was that? That was the Pelly Camp part two video. And, uh, and if you go through the link I put on the, in the description on that video, I think you get a discount, and they know I sent you, so, uh, yeah. Joey and Colleen, Lyle Grimm, thank you for that super chat for Joey and Colleen. Hi, Robert, would you mind singing happy birthday to our daughter, Kira, who turned 24 today? Happy birthday, dear Kira, happy birthday to you, 24. All right, everybody, I'm going to start wrapping this up because this thing keeps going on and off. And uh, as much as I like, uh, I love hanging with you guys. It's getting on my nerves every time the stream stops. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe the soil, maybe too much salt. I don't know, uh, Neon Pony, but yeah, it didn't, didn't make it. And I even put some of the soil that came with it. 
Uh, Kirk J, thank you for that super chat. Thank you for your travel ideas. No, you're welcome. Thank you for the super chat. And check it out, Don Holloway HD. Don Holloway, thank you for the super chat. Uh, thank you. Hello, Robert. Congratulations on 200,000 subscribers and Pelicamp. Cheers, Maria and Don. Cheers, brother. Thank you so much. I'm almost done with my Iowa beer, so as long as I, as, as soon as I finish my Iowa beer, we're going to start wrapping it up. We've been doing it here for an hour, and it freezes from time to time. What can you do? Manuela Hayes. Hayes. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you, Manuela. And uh, Naj. Hello, Naj. And... Uh, do, 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 do. The RV DJ, by the way, we, we're going to meet the RV DJ at the M21 meetup next month. Uh, S. Rodriguez, thank you for that super chat. Uh, saludos desde Miami. Have a great weekend. You too. Have a great weekend. You too. Thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. Will you be at Pelicamp this winter? I'm going to make it a point to come to Pelicamp for at least a week this winter. Winter is lovely in this area. So, uh, yeah. Andrew and Monica, good night and safe travels. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew and Monica. Uh, good night. We'll be sending hot sauce to you and RV DJ Monday morning overnight. Two packages. Awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I go get it at the, at the P.O. Box. Thank you, Mr. CLT Pancombite. I'm not forgetting. Uh, Robert, please come back to Oregon. Or, or Oregon. Is that how you pronounce it? I can never remember. Oregon. Oregon. I promise to keep the sugar ants away. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, probably sometime next summer. Uh, I, I would love to go to the West Coast again. So... Um, Thank you everybody for hanging out. It's been it's been a lot of fun hanging out with all of you on this uh, rainy Friday uh, afternoon here in Pelicamp. Uh, it's getting dark and it's it, it's not supposed to to be uh, like sunset is supposed to be like in about an hour, but it's so cloudy and like you would think it's cold outside, but it's like 89 degrees with 98 percent humidity. So don't be fooled. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Cause I'm riding, riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV. <laughs> Neon Pony, get your e-bike uh, dry. You know, I'm going to just ride it really fast. So it just dries up quickly. Good night, and one last time. Thank you for that super chat. Home on the hitch. Good night, everybody. Have a great weekend. Traveling Robert Anthony says hello. Yes, that, that, that the last time I said it was when it froze. Good night. Have a great weekend. Uh, and I'll see you next Friday. From Florida. But I don't know from where in Florida. So there you go. Good night. And see you on the road.